So I'm going to do a quick video about my team overview, my team building process, and then some retrospection on this team that I built for this VGC monotype tournament that I entered. And I got second place with Mono Ghost. Now, the style of the tournament was kind of like a draft. So each person got a different type. And it was just in a small discord. So we didn't even use all the types, but we used most of them. And so I picked my type kind of somewhere in the middle. I didn't see the tournament come up right away. So I wasn't like the last person to pick a type, but I wasn't the first person to pick a type either. Um, I was like somewhere in the middle, I would say. I ended up with picking Mono Ghost. It was still available and I didn't really think about it too much. I was just like, okay, well, meta, there's Dragapult, there's Dusclops, there's Mimikyu. Those are very meta Pokemon. And I feel like the team kind of wrote itself. So I thought it'd be like a good... Um, monotype to use, but then I got into it and I realized it's a little bit harder to build this team than I thought it would be. And particularly because, you know, yes, you have Dragapult, Mimikyu, and Dusclops, and they could all be on a team together, but then you usually have, like, other things to make the team work, right? You have your Togekiss for redirection, you have, like, maybe your Hyperior for your Trick Room Sweeper, um, but you can't do those things with Mono Ghost, so you really need to kind of think about this differently. So this is kind of the team that I ended up with. And I can explain some of my decisions. So I used Dragapult because I thought Dragapult was just a really good Pokemon. It's the fastest Pokemon that's even like has teeth to it, basically. So, and only one other person can use Dragapult, and that's the person who's running Mono Dragon. And so this is kind of just a standard set with weakness policy because I do have Shadow Sneak in my team. So it's like, you know, I can proc pretty easily. I also gave it um, Ally Switch. I feel like Ally Switch is going to be something I use in my team, you know. Not not every Pokemon is going to have Value Switch, but it's going to use something, something I do use in my team. And it's because Ghost-type doesn't have any redirection at all, so Ally Switch kind of acts like redirection. It's not the same, and I don't think it's as good, but it's just it kind of acts like redirection. And I know that people are going to hate on me for using Ally Switch, like, oh, you know, because there's a lot of Ally Switch haters on there. But I want to say, if, if they just gave Dragapult Follow Me, I wouldn't have to use Ally Switch. So really, they should just give Dragapult Follow Me. And then I promise you I would never use Ally Switch on this team. But, you know, until they do that, please give Dragapult Ally, um, follow me. So then I use Mimikyu. I've actually used Dragapult and Mimikyu together. They actually work really well. Um, when you have Max Airstream Dragapult uh, and it goes first, you can get Mimikyu to be really fast. Even though, you know, it's base 96 was already pretty fast, but it doesn't outspeed some, the, you know, like the base 100s and, you know, the base 110s. So... With the Vexor Stream, you can make it quite fast. Um, it's also nice because it has Shadow Sneak to proc Dragapult's weakness policy. Um, I do like Swords Dance on it too because it kind of covers different options. Sometimes, you know, I don't know if they're going to hit Dragapult or Mimikyu. And so, you know, you can have Dragapult be your sweeper or Mimikyu be your sweeper. You don't really know. They're both kind of fast. Um, and then I have Trick Room. Uh, Trick Room is going to be an important speed control method on this team because I did some analysis on speed control methods for Mono Ghost. And the only ghost Pokemon that learns Tailwind is Drifblim, which is a ghost flying type. And the typing is really good on Drifblim. Uh, and I did some research into it and I just found that like uh, I didn't really like it. I thought it was a little gimmicky because yes, it has um, Unburden. So to use it, you'd have to use Unburden proc weakness policy most likely. I thought about using Unburden Focus Ash on it, but really at the end of the day, it just seemed very un unreliable in my opinion. Um, I've seen some people do su successful things with it, but usually they run it with um, Grassy Seed or Psychic Seed, and that makes sense um, on a terrain team. But unfortunately, since I'm running Mono Ghost, I don't have a terrain setter. I could maybe set the terrain with Delmize, but I think it's too unreliable as a speed control method. However, ghost types have Trick Room very liberally. If you look at ghost type distribution on Trick Room, it's very, very, very common. So I feel like Trick Room is just a better speed control method for me on Mono Ghost. So I gave Mimikyu Trick Room. Um, and speaking of Trick Room, I had to come up with a sweeper or some Pokemon that would be good in Trick Room. So I have some couple of fast Pokemon that I can use in case if like, you know, I can't use Trick Room or Trick Room doesn't work. And especially because Dragapult's so fast, sometimes I don't even need it. Um, but I do need some Trick Room Pokemon to make Trick Room work. So I kind of made this weird Chandler with Power Band. Now what the Power Band does is it's normally used in-game to increase the number of like EVs you gain you know, when you raise your Pokemon, but it also halves your speed. So what I did is I made a min speed Chandelure with like a quiet nature and I gave it a power band. So it's like really slow Chandelure. So the idea is it's supposed to be a trick room sweeper. It's not as slow as something like, you know, Dusclops, but it's still like pretty slow and under speeds like most like general things. Um, 
And, you know, I could have just used Marowak, but I didn't use Marowak because I found that spread damage was something that was really hard to find on Mono Ghost. And I found that spread damage is something that is kind of important in this meta, especially because, you know, I have some team archetypes I have to fight. Like, I have Mono Normal, which is going to have Ndidi and Snorlax, and I have, like, Mono Psychic, which is going to have Ndidi Hatterene. So um, I think spread damage was important to have on this team. So that's why I went with the slow Shandy instead of the, you know, like a Marowak or something like that. Because the heat wave damage is some strong spread damage and it's hard to get that on Mono Ghost. Now I also use Dust Claps. Now Dust Claps was supposed to be like my secondary Trick Room setter because I do have quite a lot of Trick Room going on here. The problem is I forgot to give it Trick Room. It's not even that I forgot. What happened was is um I had some four move slot syndrome with my Dust Claps. I didn't know what moves to give it. I wanted to give it like eight moves and it only had like four. So last minute I kind of like messed around with its moveset, you know, to TMs and whatnot. And I was like, or not TMs, like relearn moves and stuff like that. And then um, at the last minute, uh, I came up with this moveset. And I was like, all right, this moveset looks good. And then I, as soon as I got into my round one, I noticed it didn't have Trick Room. And I was like, oh, no wonder why the moveset looks really good because I'm missing like Trick Room. So yeah, so I ran a non-Trick Room Dust Claps. It wasn't as bad as I thought because I could play mind games with it. Like people didn't know it didn't have trick room and most dust clubs do, like 97% of them have trick room. So um, I could kind of like play as if it was a trick room dust clubs. And there were times when people would just like double target it down to kill it because they didn't want it to set up trick room, but like it didn't have trick room. So I could use it for mind games and like get an idea of what my opponent was doing. I also used it to proc Dragon Pult and also uh, Ally Switch came in handy a couple times when I wanted to do something to set up something. Um, and Pain Split and Nightshade actually did come in handy. Nightshade, you know, when, when I had Trick Room set up, Nightshade was good just to pick things off. And sometimes, and Dust Clops was also good just because of its pure bulk. Uh, the rest of my team is not super bulky. So it's really nice. It acted as a nice switch in. Sometimes I just needed to switch something out and I needed to put something in. Dust Clops was like kind of that filler and just the, the bulk was really nice. So overall, you know, Dust Clops actually didn't do that bad, even though it didn't have Trick Room. It would have been a lot better as a Trick Room setter, I think, but um, without Trick Room, it ended up actually working better than... It was certainly better than some other My Pokemon, so yeah. Um, so then, speaking of Trick Room, I also put Delmize on my team. Now, Delmize is really impressive. I did use a couple of different ghost types like on Showdown to see which ones I liked, and Delmize was really impressive. I was really surprised at how much damage it did. It just is really strong, like offensively. Um, it has great coverage. It's really bulky, actually, with Assault Vest. If you run Assault Vest, Delmize, I found that, like, it never gets one-shotted by anything. It's, like, very, very bulky. It's, like, a very, very bulky, um, very, very strong Pokemon. I guess the downside is that because it's grass, it's weak to a lot of stuff, but other than that, it's just a really potent Pokemon. I thought it'd also be good for, like, grass teams and poison teams that might want to use Spore or might want to use, um, Sleep Powder, I also have that type of resistance on there too. Now, um, I originally had Steel Roller on it, but at the last minute I replaced it li with uh, Liquidation because I realized I didn't have a way to hit like Fire Pokemon. Um, and I originally had Jellicent. I tried using Jellicent, I should say. And I just didn't like Jellicent. Um, it just didn't have enough power output for my taste. It only has like base 80 special attack. It just wasn't very strong. And I felt like if I wanted to get it strong, I'd have to run Rain and... Um, <laughs> I didn't want to run a rain team. It didn't make sense otherwise. I mean, I could run like Hydro Pump Dragapult or Dive Dragapult, but otherwise it didn't really make sense for the team. So I just dropped Jellison. Instead, just gave Delmine's liquidation and figured, uh, you know, if I get, as long as I get Trick Room set up, I'm able to use that water type coverage to hit fire Pokemon. And I have Gengar as my last Pokemon, which is not Trick Room Pokemon, but it's part of my like fast core. Um, I kind of use Gengar for coverage for some things that the rest of my team was lacking. Like Dazzling Gleam is really good fairy type coverage because Dark is a really bad matchup for Mono Ghost. I mean, you know, every basically every Pokemon's weak to Dark except Mimikyu because Mimikyu is fairy. And, you know, the other Pokemon that's not weak to Dark is like Sableye. But like, I tried using Sableye, but, you know, for Fake Out support is really nice and uh, Will-O-Wisp support is really nice. But then like, against some teams, it's actually useless. Like against Psychic Terrain teams, it's actually useless. Like Psychic and um, Fairy... Uh, no, I don't know. No, not Fairy doesn't have Psychic Train. Sorry, my bad. Psychic or Normal teams would be just, it would be useless. And same thing with Mono Dark teams. So I felt like 
you know, the fake out support is nice. The will o wisp support is nice. Some other support is nice, but then um, it, it would also be useless a lot of the time too. And I didn't like running a Pokemon without any like attacking moves, and it just supports because like you have to have something really strong that it has to support, right? And I felt like Mono Ghost didn't really have something like that. Maybe Dragapult because Dragapult's really strong. And Delmise is really strong, but there's not anything like a Charizard that's just overwhelmingly powerful that you can afford to use one of your Pokemon to just run support on it. And so I gave it Focus Sash because I just feel like Focus Sash Gengar is comfortable. Um, and I do have Taunt on it. Taunt is mainly for like the Indeedy Snorlax teams, uh, the, you know, Indeedy Hatterene teams. Like teams where I feel like Taunt would be good to prevent Follow Me. A redirection mainly and also if I wanted to pre prevent opposing trick room from being set up uh, I do think while I do think trick room is the best speed control for a mono ghost I also think that the Pokemon on it aren't really slow enough there's some I think teams mono teams might have better trick room options like maybe mono psychic with a Hatterene or um, uh, mono normal with Snorlax and stuff like that so I thought you know I might want to prevent them from setting up trick room which is why I gave myself taunt and also Dazzling Gleam is really good for the spread damage too. I didn't even know Gengar learned Dazzling Gleam, but once I found that out, I was like, all right, um, you know, it's good for coverage. I didn't use him too much, but I mainly used him against Hydreigon because like, yeah, Dazzling Gleam just one shot it on the Mono Dragon team. And, but at the end of the day, I should have recognized that I was probably going to lose against Mono Dark anyway, so I shouldn't have built my team around having um, Dazzling Gleam for Mono Dark. I should have maybe, I could have maybe used Gengar a different way because I think it's not super good. It was good. I mean, admittedly, it was good. It, it did help me in a lot of situations, but I think there may have been something better if I had done a little more exploration. Uh, but And the Chandelure was good. I think the Chandelure didn't get hardly any usage in the tournament. I think the Chandelure was fine. The problem is, is that I didn't have Trick Room Dust Clubs. So I couldn't reset Trick Room. Like, Mimikyu isn't going to last long enough on the field to be able to reset Trick Room. And also because of how I would use weird ways to get Trick Room up with Mimikyu, I never, almost never had Delmise and Chandler on the field at the same time when I was using Trick Room. I usually just had to pick one. And most of the time I felt Delmise was the better sweeper, just has better type coverage. It's way more bulky, so it can take hits better. Um, and I think Shandy's just too frail to be a good Dynamax candidate. So, yeah, in retrospection, my main thing is that I, I do think the Chandler wasn't horrible, but I needed another Trick Room setter. So if those clubs had had Trick Room, I think it'd be a lot better. Um, I might have been able to use something else instead of Gengar, or given Gengar a little bit different coverage. Maybe Icy Wind for another source of speed control. Um, yeah, and it's kind of the same thing with the Dragapult. I might have been able to give Dragapult a different coverage move instead of, you know, the standard set. But all in all, it actually worked out.